having had a negative experience when it comes to intimacy, love relationship, or sex, does not mean that you cannot have a good experience after that. Even if you have been sexually assaulted, harassed, even raped, you can still enjoy sex if you do certain things first. If you have been in a relationship with a very narcissistic person, you can still have a nice relationship with another person if you do certain things first. It's not because something bad happened to you that for the rest of your life you're screwed. Or more in terms of this video, you're fucked. No. 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 I'm talking from personal experience and the experience of people close to me and the experience of clients of mine. Like, subscribe, and share. You can go to my website and see what I experienced, how it did influence my life for decades, but I managed to turn things around once I had the right guidance. And of course, I had to be ready to do it. I needed to have the courage to do it. But for that courage, you just need to have just enough courage to ask for help. And asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of strength and a sign of smartness. The most successful people in the world have not done what they have done and reached the success they have today on their own. They all had help. They all asked for help several times in their lives. They had mentors, they had coaches in different areas of their life to help them get where they got today. They also had a lot of failures because without failure there is no success, at least not in the long run, not over a lifetime. You may do something the first time and you have beginner's luck or something like that, that's totally fine. But it's through failure, through bad experiences that we actually learn how important it is to do things in a certain way, to set certain boundaries, to make certain choices. It's like when you're trying to find a new job and you have no idea what to choose, where to go, but you may know where you absolutely don't want to go, what you will not accept anymore in your next job. And that's a perfect starting point. So, if you have had a relationship with a person who really hurt you through physical abuse, mental abuse, sexual abuse, and you want your next relationship to be a healthy one, then the most important thing you need to do is to work on yourself, to look at how you did you get in that situation in the first place, what led you to end up with such a person, because it did not happen to you. You let that person into your life. You did not see the signs for a variety of reasons. Maybe it's the way you were raised. Maybe it can be anything. The list is long and I will not even start to, to go through it now. But if you're ready to take ownership of your life, to take responsibility for your actions, then we can work on this. We can help you grow stronger, grow more conscious, more, more aware, reading the signs, reading people, feeling people, sensing them, knowing who's on your path. Somebody looking good, being nice, or at least acting nice, does not mean the person is good for you. 
Maybe you just see the potential of the person. But that does not mean that he will reach that potential instantly while being with you. Maybe that's something that person will reach in 5 to 10 years. Just like when I realized what had caused the whole dysfunction of my sexual life. It was not just resolved. I had to work on it. And I needed guidance. And if I would not have had that guidance, I would not have gotten as fast where I am today as I did. If you have been sexually assaulted or raped, then the same applies. This does not need to happen to you anymore. The opposite is actually true. Because of your experience. And if you get out of that experience everything that there is to get out of it, you will grow so strong, so wise, so knowledgeable, that this will never happen to you again. Hey, maybe you will even start to help others avoid experiencing this. Or like me, starting to help others heal their wounds and grow stronger and wiser. Even if you feel like, well, I would like to have sex again with someone, but I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that, then, yeah, there's already something. The moment there is a list of things that you don't want to do, and I'm not talking about abusive things, then clearly there is a blockage or there is a wound. Because when two people meet and they melt together because they are perfectly matching, in that moment everything is in harmony. And when everything is in harmony there is no thinking, there is just feeling. And there will be no no between the two people because they will be on the right frequency with each other. So one person would not start or suggest something that the other person does not like. They will be aligned, it's like telepathy. And they will just go and do the things they both enjoy and desire. Not from here, not from what they did before they enjoyed. Maybe something completely new. But you will feel safe and open to experience. If this inspired you to take action, then click the link in the description, contact me, and let's start working on this. Because why would you not deserve to enjoy intimacy in your life again? I know how tough it is when we have those blockages and those wounds. I've seen it and I've experienced it myself. But I managed to heal my wounds. And I guided others to heal theirs. And to really start enjoying things that I thought was not possible for them to enjoy anymore or ever. So what are you waiting for? What do you have to lose? Seriously. Not having fun at the moment. And having a chance to actually starting to have fun again. Well, I know what I would do, but hey, the choice is yours. It's your life. It's your well-being. It's your joy of life. So... Links down there. 
hopefully I'll see you and I can't wait to guide you on your journey to joy like subscribe and share